like a bow. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So today we're going to be talking about um, five signs that he's secretly a player with bad intentions, people. Um, this is a topic, topic that out of all the dating coaches, to be honest with you, I'm the most qualified to talk about this. All right. Because most dating coaches are, you know, are married or in happy relationships or hovering above the, above the clouds in a lotus position. I, on the other hand, I'm in the grunges. I'm in the jungle. You know what I'm saying? I'm dating. I do what I do. I cheat. I lie. I steal. You know, you know, you know, you know me. You know what I'm talking about, right? So, of course, I should make a video about this. Because I know all of these things that a guy is a player and toxic. Because we all know I am the toxic dating coach out there, you know? There's no other dating coach as toxic as me. Um, so I'm going to be revealing to you guys five signs that he's secretly a player, all right? Um, and also, oh, look at these dogs. Oh, they're just so cute. Look at them. They're just so ready. Look at them. Oh. <laughs> Hey, perritos. <laughs> que lindos. <laughs> oh, I love these. I, lo I mean, got the I love these dogs. So, look. Um, by the way, we're having a seminar in New York City, 25th. Attend, or I'm closing the channel, all right? Um, and also, we're going to be having a seminar in L.A. and um, L.A. and Miami um, by the end of the year. And we're going to be having a seminar in New York, in Mexico, I believe. Yeah, in no, a retreat in Mexico on September no retreat in Mexico in February I'm gonna have all of those details ready for you guys by the end of the week okay um, so the seminar for for Mex for Miami and New York City um, you could purchase no <laughs> Miami and LA you could purchase them under the description down below okay um, so let's begin so the first sign is is that they're not that interested in you as a person you see players are out there to get a number all right and so they're used to going on dates. So they're very desensitized and they, they grow to be very narcissistic when, when they're conversating because women have validated them so much that they feel that their shit don't stink, okay? So players, you rarely feel like you listen to. Um, it's usually about them, okay? So that's one thing. Um, very, they always talk about themselves. The second one is that he's too smooth. He's too good. You know what I'm saying? A guy should not be too... Like, most guys are not... Like, guys who are not players, they're not as confident when it comes to going for a kiss. All right? They're not that confident. Um, they're not as confident when it comes to asking you back to your place. Right? In fact, players will ask you back to their place on the first date. Okay? Um, like, they're, they're just too good. Anytime you see that, that dude has rehearsed. That dude has had a lot of practice. And that dude's a player. Um, the third one is that... He'll tell you that he's not ready for a relationship right now. But not just that, he'll tell you that maybe later I'll be more ready. You get what I'm trying to say? Like, he'll push the relationship into the future. Um, he will never talk, he, like, he'll promise you a relationship if you wait long enough. That's a sign of a guy that really, he's not going to give you that, okay? Don't expect it. Don't believe the lies. Don't believe the propaganda. Anytime a guy makes you wait, it's better for you to leave him and say, let me know when you're ready. I'll continue dating. That's how you should be. Um, the fourth one is that he's good at lowering your defenses, right? So the good players, the professional players, lower your defenses. The professional players take you out to dinner. The professional player won't hit, won't hit you up at 2 at two o'clock in the morning. That's old school shit, man. They've learned. They've been watching my channel. They know how to do these kind of things, right? So they'll they'll get vulnerable with you. You'll notice they're distant, but they'll start talking about how their bad relationship, how bad it was, and how they can't trust women, and how and how now they're not they're they're they're, they're healing right now, right? So so you sort of feel that the pressure to give them a lot of space, right? All of those things is done to lower your defenses. Okay, players know how to lower your defenses. So that's one thing, right? Um, so it's almost like they're good at, you see, these are the really bad ones um, because they're chameleons, right? Um, they, they know exactly what you want to hear. So anytime a player, anytime somebody is, is telling you a lot of sweet nothings, there's a lot of words, 
You know, they're 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 overflattering you, making you feel special, making you feel like you're the only one in his life. Yeah, you, 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 most guys don't do that shit. Okay, that's a player. That's too good. That's too fucking good. He's too good. I'm flattering you. He's too good. He's too good at making you feel like you're the only woman in his life. All right. Um, so don't fall for that. Um, and the last one, after sex, he gets cold. After sex, he gets cold. Now look, um, the way to combat that. When a guy has sex and he gets cold, it's better to leave him. It's better to leave him. Um, if a guy gets cold after sex and it wasn't your fault, it's just his pattern. It's, it's, this is more has to do about him than you. Um, players, players in a way are, are a victim to their own nature, right? Um, they think they like you. Sometimes players think they like you, but in reality, it's just their libido. They really don't like you. Um, so if, you, if you're encountering a guy, he was taking you out on dates, taking you to, you know, having dinner and everything, and after sex he gets cold, and then he comes back to you every two or three weeks once his dick gets hard, then you're encountering a player. When a guy just comes back to you every two or three weeks, you know, you're encountering a player. You know, but when, if he comes back to you and tells you how much he missed you, you know, says, you, baby, I miss you, baby, um, um, I cannot stand up to be with you. He's a fucking player because his actions don't match his words. But if he if he's a dude though that is acting like he loves you, acting like he likes you, but tells you he's not ready for a relationship, then believe those words. Believe those fucking words. That that is an exception. Believe those words. Because it's just the way he acts, I think. I mean, personally, I wouldn't act that way if I don't want a relationship with a woman. But some guys do that shit. Um, so it is what it is ladies and look these are the things that I do Oh shit, I do these things. So I know these things. So pay attention um, And and make sure that you don't fall for it. Um, and if you're encountering a player And you like them Just don't expect a relationship. That's all. Um, don't believe what they tell you as much as hard as they try to convince you That they want what you want Don't buy into it um, it's it, a lot of the times they think they they want what you want. They think they also want a relationship, but a lot of the times they really don't want a relationship. Okay. Um, all right. This is Alex from Mindful Attraction. If you guys enjoyed this video, check us out on on the Mindful Attraction Academy, where we have videos specifically for for people who follow me there. I also have a book club with the Robert Green Book Club, and I also have a mindful attraction gang that you could just um, ask questions on a monthly basis and I'll make videos about it and answer it live on YouTube. All right, all right, ladies, take care and you guys have a good day. I'm in Mexico now and take care. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys ever wanna learn how to use your feminine energy to influence people, learn how to use your masculine energy to become more assertive and also learn how to blend both energies to improve your dating life, your spiritual life, honestly, um, your relationship life, your family life, your career life, this is the course for you. If I had to make a course for my nieces, I have two nieces, one is 8, 19 and one is 14, 15, 16, holy shit. Oh my God, he's a bad fucking uncle. He's a, he's a bad uncle. Get him. Shut up, Melissa. You should, you should get this course, right? And this is the course that I will make for them. So for example, watch the curriculum, right? In the first week, we're gonna be showing you how to establish a strong masculine foundation without letting it hurt your feminine energy. This masculine foundation is a source of who you are, right? It's it's your bodyguard. Without this, your whatever feminine energy you create will be destroyed by the outside because your, your, your masculine is your shield. So we'll talk about goal setting. We'll talk about how to develop a serious attitude. We're going to be talking about how to um, how to use more logic, how to use more goal-oriented behavior. It's more how to be a man, <laughs> you, know, it, you know? Now, the next one is how to embrace the feminine energy, right? This one, would, this one will teach you about how to minimize excessive masculine traits, developing self-awareness, healing abundant feminine energy, regulating your emotion, vo uh, mastering voice qualities and, ex and facial expressions, surrendering control and allowing pain to be felt. This is honestly, it's, it's, it, it, this will supercharge, like, like, like Kayo Ken, your masculine energy. After that, we have um, femininity in the workplace and how to be feminine in the workplace without letting people take advantage of you and the nuances of um, how women on power should behave versus women who are subordinates in the workplace. And even the dress code, they, they, these are, this is based on psychology, people. It's kind of insane. I'm actually excited about this one. The next week, we talk about navigating the labyrinth of male and female friendship. And this, a lot of women find confusing, so we talk about that. 
and how to identify envious friends, how to identify the good friends, how to keep male friends, and how to keep female friends. Week five, we talk about how to release the burden of the past and stop and destroy mental projections. This is actually really powerful. Um, and this, and then week six, we talk about how to increase your observational power so that you so that you can read people better. Um, and we have a bunch of bonuses. It, the course starts at um nine at ninety nine dollars. Um, and you guys can pre order the course today at sixty nine dollars before it goes out. Um, if you're watching this, most likely I'm in the meditation retreat, so I really most likely I will be praying for all of you guys. And um, just click on the description down below of the video right there. You'll see it, and you can pre-order that course. It's going to be out by, by the end of next month or the beginning of February of, of March. One of the two people, because I have a 10-day retreat to do. And I want to I want to finish the course um, after the retreat, because I think the, the ideas are going to be so much better. All right, man, I'll see you guys later. Free order, man. Oh, I'm closing the channel.